Welcome back to another glorious episode of Wine Down with Erica. So tonight, we're going to be making Mexican lasagna. I saw this on my Instagram, some influencer I follow on Instagram or whatnot, and she makes this all the time, and it looks delicious, and I want to try it and make it. So, without further ado, let's do this dish. But first, the wine of the day, and also I want to show you some stuff that my husband got me for Mother's Day. So, I got my wine in my glass. Got me some red wine. I saw this at Kroger, and I wanted to try it. Yes. Snoop Dogg got a wine, so I want to try it. Yeah, it's Cali Red. I know, Ace, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you know how it tastes. So. And then, I got this. One, not one. Got this one, Magnolia Table, and got this one. Talk about a great Mother's Day. I am excited and cannot wait to start cooking this stuff. But let's go ahead and start cooking this Mexican lasagna. So let's get the ingredients. The ingredients consist of this Mexican lasagna. Ground beef, I'm doing two pounds of ground beef, and I got the 93% uh, lean and 7% fat. Two pounds of that. Um, it calls for, like, chunky salsa, but I'm going to do rotel. And I'm doing two cans of this. I don't really like beans like that, um, but it calls for two cans of pinto beans. But I'm just going to do one. Don't do beans like that. Um, I'm going to chop up a red bell pepper, an onion, and of course the cheese. And the toppings that you can put with it, you can put like some tortilla chips, you can put sour cream, more cheese, and I'm going to put an avocado with it. And that's it. I'm telling you, it's so simple. Simple ingredients and it's going to be great. Oh yeah, one more ingredient. All right, duh. The wraps, duh. So, um, just your normal wraps. You can do the, I think these are the eight inch ones, I believe. Not too sure. But, um, you can get the 10 inch, the bigger one, whatever your preference. But I'm just going to do this, this size. And, um, you're going to pre preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And let's get started. So, what we're doing right here is we're just browning the meat. Ace, be careful over there. We're just browning the meat until it no longer is pink. And then the seasoning we're going to add is blackened seasoning, blackened seasoning, adobo seasoning, adobo, pepper, mm, just pepper, and some parsley. It's going to be so good. So, can I wait? Oh, yeah. So we just added in our uh, red bell pepper and onion, and now I'm going to add in one can of the Rotel mix, and we're going to let all this simmer down, and I already preheated my oven, I just turned my oven on to 400 degrees, so we're just going to let this simmer down, and then the other can is what we're going to put on top, it's going to be so good, just, just keep watching, yeah! So I just got a baking dish. And I sprayed it with a little bit of vegetable oil. And now we're just going to take our meat mixture. We're going to take some of it. And we're going to layer it on the bottom. There's yummy juices from the Rotel mix. Like so. Spread it around. You can chop up a little bit more of the meat if you want. Okay, then you're going to take, if you're using the 10 inch, you're going to just use two, but I'm using the eighth, so I'm probably going to use three. I'm just going to rip it in half, just so it can cover all that. Then, I'm going to add another layer of meat. Oh my goodness. So 
Oh, that's my oven. Then you're going to add a little bit of the pinto beans. And then you're going to add cheese. It already looks good. I cannot wait. And then we're going to repeat it. Meat and more uh, wraps. Right now we're going to put another thing of wraps on it. Now we cover with foil and bake for about 30 minutes at 400 degrees. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. Nice and gooey, cheesy. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this up. We're gonna let it chill for about five minutes and then we're gonna dive right in, y'all. Hey, and it's all done. It turned out perfect, just the way I want it to turn out. I can't wait to try it. Mm, it smells really good. So let's try it. And I chopped up a little avocado. Because, I mean, mm, love avocado. So let's try it. Oh man, I hope you really love it. Because I know I am. Mmm. 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 My only downfall is. This is something you make, and then you eat it right then and there. But we don't get off until 12, so hopefully it don't get too soggy. But I think you'll love it still. Because <laughs> this is bomb. Mm. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for next time with Wind Down with Erica.